Welcome back. Today we are going to do the biscuit cook to try to find where our hot and cold zones are. Um, I did not put anything up in that direction there because it's just going to burn. I mean, that's basically where the fire comes out and the water pan goes. I uh, got 16 butter biscuits on there and I'm going to try to do this between 275 and 300 and because I'm actually not completely sure yet as to how this extra uh, back grate cooks. I did put one roughly in the middle towards the back. So we'll stay tuned and we'll check on this uh, every 20 minutes or so and I'll update you. Thank you. It's been about another 15 minutes. I do have her pretty much right at 275 and I'll show you up here uh, 325. So like I said about 50 degrees from top to bottom. Let's take a look at these now. All right. You can see here that these are definitely getting quite a bit darker than what some of the ones back here. Um, it looks like from front to back or from the back of the smoker to the door, not a huge difference. Um, that could also be that I need to move the, uh, could have moved the biscuits a little further apart, I guess, if I was looking for that. But I was kind of looking more for front to back. Um, those aren't so bad. Let's take a look at what we have going on back here. All right, so these are pretty golden. That's from where I dropped it on the grate and then rolled it over. Should have just left it where it was. So that's not actually from the cook. Uh, these here, it's kind of hard to tell with the lighting, but they uh, pretty golden. Nothing's really, really burning. So definitely this row of nine back here are exactly the same. I would even go to say that they don't really start getting, and I don't know if this is picking up or not, but right about here you can see the front is darker than when you even get to here. It's almost like you can see the line of the halfway point of the biscuit where you're not getting that browning so much on the back. Same thing as the top here, a little darker. And then these are the front ones, and as you can see, those are those are pretty dark all the way around and then it's definitely taking it uh, especially this one here in the middle definitely taking the brunt of it in the front so i don't usually we wouldn't usually cook necessarily this far up with the exception of maybe some chicken and that would mostly be due to the fact that i'm trying to get uh, crispy skin on it um, i mean you can if you're doing briskets obviously the point this is where the blocking log would come into play move the blocking log a little forward of these biscuits here to help take the punishment off the, the front of the brisket, but then you're gonna have to be uh, doing the rotation. Um, interestingly enough though, this one here is actually getting darker than what I would have expected. Um, I, I wasn't sure whether this would be more of a cool spot. Um, it does almost seem to be more of an even cook though. Um, it's got pretty much the same color all the way around. And I'm wondering if that's because that's where the cyclone of air is going um, before it funnels out of the uh, chimney there. So a um, little, little warmer than what you're getting up here. See, that's just starting to get some color uh, on the biscuit, whereas this one's definitely, definitely darker. And that's not the lighting. It's just, it's darker because it must be warmer. Um, so maybe I'll run an experiment where I put a couple thermometers throughout and see what they're reading on at the grate level. Thank you guys for watching. All right, it's been about three minutes since I closed the lid and I just wanted to show you guys that the temperature from bottom to top appears to be running at about 50 degree difference. That's about 225 and up here we are just touching 275, but it also seems to do that around here. You know, we're right on about 225 and we are just about on 275. Um, I've kind of been watching that lately just because it seems to be uh, always a 50 degree difference between the bottom grate and the top grate. Not, not so much like when you hear someone say, oh, it's plus or minus five degrees. That's usually across the grates left to right. But from top to bottom, even on the rear here, sitting at just about 200 and we are almost 250 so that is actually pretty uh pretty consistent across the grill so a few more minutes here and uh we'll check in and see how these uh biscuits are coming along 
All right, we are about 15 minutes in for the biscuits. Um, as you can see, we're sitting at 250. Wanted to be a little warmer, but it's kind of cold here today, about 50 degrees when I started this. So it's taking a little longer to get up to temp uh, than normal. So, but anyway, let's take a look at where we're at on the biscuits. They're actually not looking too bad. There you go. Yeah, pretty golden brown. I gotta be honest with you, these are actually all pretty even so far. Of course, we're only 15 minutes in. Um, definitely a little darker on the front of these, but that's what we would have expected. So let's take a look at the one in the back. Yeah, these don't look uh, too much different than the ones that are uh, not the front row, but the second row back. Yeah, same thing with that guy right there. He seems to be doing pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything crazy. So let's give it another 15 minutes and see uh, if we see any big differences then.